Hello, BAME Farm fans. Back here in the barn. It's a bit of a sad moment. A bit of a happy moment for the, uh, the steers here. You wanna know why that is? Come on, come on Aztec. You gonna eat from my hand? Yeah, yum yum. So it's happy for the steers, they get sweet corn. It's sad for us because we have extra that we, I guess, misjudged the amount we needed for, a, for the market day. Got a little bit extra. Sometimes it's a bit of a challenge, say, when school starts, because, well, school's starting earlier and earlier, and people magically think summer ends when kids go back to school. Well, guess what? Summer ends September 20th, and it's only middle of August, so your poor kids, <laughs> well, they're just getting gypped to summer, pretty much. But, sweet corn rolls on, and this is, I guess, the nice thing of having the cattle is, while well, they're getting very expensive feed, it's not an expensive loss just leaving it out in the field or dumping this back out there, that we can run it through, yes, this lovely steak plant, and not have a complete and total loss. Just an expensive dinner for you. So we'll toss it to them, but really I'm doing this because I need the wheelbarrow to do something else. So I really just needed to empty the wheelbarrow out. I didn't have to feed the cows, the corn. I needed the wheelbarrow. That was about 10 dozen corn, but that was also multiple days worth of corn. Rolling up and down the cabbage row here. You can see I picked a bunch. I also have this row of cabbage that, that is a nice monster round head. I think we're gonna go ahead and take that one. This is a flat, I don't think it's flat Dutch, but this is a flat headed cabbage. Not a big fan of the flat cabbage. This one looks pretty big right here. Well, I'm not a fan. And I'll compare when I cut another head. Which, on a side note, we'll clean these and also and then feed the cleanings to the cows. Peel off the leaves, you know, because we see there are some holes in them. It's a pain to keep the bugs off the cabbage, especially when it's wet. And we don't like to soak these in anything too crazy. Eh, there's a worm right there anyways. going to turn into a little white-winged butterfly. But we'll clean it up, make it look good. Might rinse it off with some water. That looks a wee bit better. No, but the flatheads. We'll look at the bottom. The point is it's flat. And it's hard to get a knife in underneath. So I'm gonna come over here and find that big round one I just had. Where did I lose it at? Huh. It was looking at me. I think it was this one. And it's just easier, like the head comes to a point, so it's easier to find a good place to cut, even though I probably cut plenty off. Strip the leaves back, and even this round variety isn't affected by the worms as bad. I mean, there's still plenty of holes in the leaves, and we've tried our best to come out here and dust them and stuff. But with how wet it's been, well, moisture makes bugs, unfortunately. It's just the way it goes. We'll peel that leaf off too. Now this is a much more round head. Um, I guess we could scale these to see, you know, the weight difference. But we see how the round head comes to a point and the flat one does not, so it's harder to like wedge your knife in the bottom side where the round one here, it's very easy. I probably should find a secondary basket to put all these in instead of tossing it on top of the cleanings here. I know the wheelbarrow will go back to the cows, so that's a good place to put the cleanings from the cabbage. Isn't that just a lovely brassica blob ready to be made into coleslaw or sauerkraut? Personally, I'm a coleslaw fan. Sauerkraut is okay if you've got lots of mashed potatoes and pork to douse it in. Hmm, that one may be a little too eaten. We'll come back to that. You always gotta scan the row, find the biggest ones. We see the squash, the cucumbers. The cucumbers are less happy because we just went a short time without rain. <laughs> sort of. This looks like a big flat head of cabbage. Yeah, it was kind of three weeks, kind of, but then we got six inches in the last week and wow, that was just too much. And I'm back to hating rain again.
order to keep the worms off these things, you'd probably need like gallons and gallons of seven or a whole lot of uh, bug dust. The problem is you gotta get underneath the leaf. They, they don't lay their eggs on top, they lay underneath. So you gotta be real good coming through with like with a hand spray or spraying the bottom side. Now these do look a little dirty, which I'll rinse them off and that'll make them all nice and clean. If the battery lasts that long, we'll see that. Here's a nice, wonderful round head. I just like the round cabbage better. Maybe it's because we always had round cabbage until we tried the flat stuff this year. Now, as I pick this round head of cabbage, I, the one thing that I haven't seen this year yet, and usually it'll happen, is that we'll have heads of cabbage split. This is the first year doing the flat, but I haven't seen a flat head of cabbage split. Now the round ones always seem to split. And I almost think the round heads are tighter, like there's more in them versus the flat heads. I just rinsed off these lovely heads of cabbage. Getting a little bit of schmutz off of them. And we'll set them out here to get loaded on the truck tonight. Along with all the other goodies out here. Some peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, okra, cherries, everything, every little bit. So that was a fun little bit of cabbage picking. On to more fun farm adventures and There'll be plenty more vegetables to pick and I'll try to get more videos of that. And if you watch this song, congratulations! This is one of the reasons why there isn't many tractor fixing videos in the summer like of the TW or the 2 plus 2. Because there's more than tractors and row crops around here. Well, we might as well throw these cabbage leaves to the cows also. They ate up that corn pretty good, there's not much left. There you go. Have more snack on your corn snack. 